Yeah. Those were some great behind the scenes shots, right? I can't wait to see them up on stage in just a matter of minutes. Welcome to the 2024 CCAD Fashion Show. I'm CCAD President Melanie Korn. And I'm your MC for tonight, Amber Nicole. I'm the lead, thank you. I'm the lead singer of Mojo Flow, an artist. Thank you. <laughs> In thank case you, you so don't much. know who she uh, is, let her tell who she is. <laughs> no, I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Um, I'm also an artist, and I'm a fashion fan. I'm so excited to be here this evening. <laughs> Before we get things started, I want to extend my sincere thanks to a few people. Tonight's host, Donica and Keith Key, and their incredible family, and our inaugural honorary host, the incredible, amazing, outstanding Congresswoman Joyce Beatty. The members of this year's Fashion Show Host Committee who are listed in your program, our talented students, including not only tonight's fashion designers, but really all of our gifted students across all of our majors. In fact, I hope that you will join us again tomorrow night on CCAD's campus for Chroma, Best of CCAD. This is your chance to see work from all of our student majors, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Come hang out with us on campus. You get to see, again, work from all of our majors, have some food, have some drink, it won't be raining, it's gonna be great. Come back, see us. But also, did you know, Amber Nicole, that not only are the designers tonight, CCAD students, but all the models that you're gonna see tonight, except there might be a kid who's little, maybe not that one, but the rest of them are all CCAD students too. That's amazing, I did not know that. Yeah, so check that out too. Um, I also want to thank our generous sponsors, whose names you saw on the screen a few minutes ago, the many elected officials and community leaders who are in the crowd tonight. I see you, Dontavious. <laughs> and finally, my thanks to CCAD trustees, most of whom are in attendance tonight for their continued support of the college. I also want to thank the people that you see to my left. They are the American Sign Language Interpreters, from Columbus State Community College's Sign Language Interpretation Program. And we really appreciate their assistance for tonight's show. And of course, most importantly, except maybe our students, no offense, but most importantly, except for our students, all of you. Your presence tonight here demonstrates to our students that you believe in the importance of their creative work and all that they do to fuel the creative economy. Your presence here tonight fuels the vital scholarships that enable their pursuits. From the bottom of my heart, thank you to all of you. In fact, Amber, Nicole, as you know, we are in the midst of an exciting campaign, Here for Change, a campaign for the CCAD way. Now, we want to share with all of you what this bold initiative and your generous support will make possible for Columbus and our world. Trendsetters and tastemakers, influencers and entrepreneurs, culture shapers and difference makers. We call them artists and designers. We're called Columbus College of Art and Design. While our students and alumni have different roles and responsibilities, titles and talents, thinking creatively is how they solve problems old and new, create and contribute to business large and small, and serve communities across Central Ohio. And we're here for it. And here, 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 and here too. When you support CCAD, you support an innovative and inclusive workforce capable of envisioning the future and then creating opportunities to meet it. You support students educated in the art of making things and skilled in the art of making those things beautiful, accessible, useful, and inclusive. And you support professors of note and students of vision who bring new perspectives to Central Ohio and with them, new possibilities for Columbus. Cities everywhere struggle to build a strong creative class. 
we graduate a new one each May. Those students will make businesses here more nimble, neighborhoods here more vibrant, the economy here more equitable, the environment here more sustainable, and make life here more beautiful. It's what thought leaders and overachievers, creators, and catalysts, visionaries, and change agents do. And we're here for it. Be here for them. Columbus College of Art and Design, here for change. I'm here for it. Are I'm you here, here for it? I'm here for it. Are you here for it? All of it. <laughs> yeah, we're all here for it. We're here for it, we're here for change, we're here for the city, and we're here for the students. So for me, this campaign is really about nurturing the next generation of culture shapers and problem solvers. Students who make Columbus a place the world watches, who blaze new trails, and who do so in the CCAD way. Already, many of you and many in the Columbus region have stepped forward to invest in the CCAD way, and we are grateful for your support. If you wish to join this movement, there are several ways to do so. I know you're not surprised to hear that. You will find a QR code on your table signs and in your programs, which you can scan to give directly to a vital component of this campaign, student scholarships. I've got a lot of tidbits and facts. You wanna hear one more? I do. Did you know <laughs> that over 99% of students at CCAD receive scholarships directly from the college? That's amazing, let's give it up for the scholarships, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> And with your support, we can give even more scholarships to even more students. So you can give a little bit right now by scanning that QR code. And if you want to give a lot, if you want to dig deep, if you want to give a lot year over year or maybe across many years, really digging deep down, you can talk to Erica Gable. And if you don't know Erica, you should know Erica. And and I will introduce you to Erica. So come find me if you don't know Erica, and I will be more than happy to make that introduction right here tonight. She is the head of our development office. She's amazing, and she will be happy to talk to you about all the ways in which you can make a deep transformational gift to help our students. By, by investing in scholarships, you transform students' futures, and more than that, you transform our region's future after all, it is, of course, education, infrastructure, housing, transportation that make our city great. But it's culture, creativity, and commerce that make our city come alive. Absolutely. So let's together invest in the CCAD students and alumni who lead our arts community, enhance our design and retail industries, infuse creativity into our businesses, and nourish the city that we call home. So speaking of incredible, gifted students, I'm as eager as you are to be awed by tonight's talent, and with that, I'm gonna turn things over to you, Amber, and take my seat. Thank you all, have a great night. Dr. Melanie Korn, everybody. And thank you, Melanie. I have to say, I was excited when I was asked to MC tonight's event. Uh, for the second year. Um, first off, I always enjoy a reason to dress up, and this outfit has been designed by CCAD alum, Ryder Teach. So this is one of his designs. I love it, I hope you love it too. So, <laughs> so thank you for that. Second, I love seeing what the CCAD designers come up with. These are the people who are gonna be the next names in fashion. They are so talented and hardworking, and I know they'll go far especially with the campaign support to help them launch into the creative careers of the future. Now, I'm pleased to introduce our esteemed 2024 fashion show chairs, Donica and Keith Key. Give it up, give it up, <laughs> all right? Keith, a, all right, hello, hello. Keith, a dedicated member of the CCAD Board of Trustees since 2022, and Donica are passionate advocates for the arts. Their active involvement in various Columbus community endeavors underscores their commitment to fostering creativity and cultural enrichment. 
Notably, they championed the arts through KBK Foundation's annual Culture Black Fine Art Expo, all right, all right, embodying a deep dedication to artistic expression and community engagement. Their amazing family will also be joining them here, Danielle Darian and Keith Brandon Key. Thank you all for your support. Please join me in thanking the Keys for their support and welcoming them to the stage. Thank you, Amber. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I want some more energy. We need to get excited. This is an exciting night. So we're excited to be host this year, Donica and I, and we just were just overjoyed just to be here. Um, I'm on the foundation board, I'm on the board member of CCAD, and as she mentioned, just since uh, two years from now, um, I joined, two years ago I joined, and this is an exciting time. The campaign is going on, Here for Change. I'm on the campaign steering committee, so we're excited about what we have to really bring to the table as far as raising money for scholarships, raising money for the students, and we're gonna see some amazing designers tonight really showcase what they can do. So we're excited about just this evening. Another piece, to the script. Okay. Another piece <laughs> that's important is we're raising money, right? We're raising money. So you have heard about the, the QR code, it's in your booklet, it's gonna be in the after party. So you'll see that and have a chance to give and, and we're hoping that you'll do so because it's more than just giving to the students and their scholarships. These students stay in the city of Columbus and they're gonna go around the world as well and help make sure that everyone knows about what CCAD can do. I can agree more, Keith. Um, and we know the impact um, that students supported by scholarships has. Students from all backgrounds and corners of the world can better thrive. Our family believes in the power of supporting students, the talented young people who will go on to become the next leaders, innovators, artists, and great change agents of our region and beyond. We're so glad that our kids are here, our young people are here with us today. And if you would, give, Give them a round of applause. We have my oldest, our oldest, Danielle, Darian, and Keith Brandon, Keith. They're all so fashionable, <laughs> great kids. Uh, Here for Change, again, is our campaign. You're gonna hear more about that tonight as we go on, and as, as Dr. Korn mentioned, this is an opportunity for us to really make sure that we provide resources for scholarships so that kids can be successful at the college and can go on and do great things. Now, without further ado, this person needs no introduction. She's not just a congresswoman, she's probably the most fashionable congresswoman I think I've ever seen. And so we're excited to have her. Good evening and thank you, Keith. Thank you, Donica, and to the family. I feel like I'm part of the Keith family now when I stand here. But let me just very briefly say that I am so honored to be here. And I knew Keith would get up here and talk about money in the campaign. So tonight I'm here, not only as your Congresswoman, but as a friend to the arts. I love CCAD. And so Keith, I have an announcement to make. Dr. Coyne already knows about this, but I have a small pot of money that belongs to the third congressional district that I represent. It doesn't have to go through Washington or anything. And tonight, May of 2024, I'm giving $1 million to CCAD. Wow! Thank you so much. And just as a thank you, and just as a friend, I knew Keith and Donica would ask me this, so yes, I wrote a check to sponsor right. a student for the scholarship. Right. Yeah. And that's because I love fashion, I love photography. I have a young graduate, where is Jay? Jay works for me in Washington. She graduated two years ago from CCAD. And she is my photographer. And, and lastly, Donica told me I had to wear something exotic. <laughs> so many of you know that I owned a fashion design store, so I dug deep, Donica. And so let me just say, enjoy the show. I love CCAD, and yes, we're here for change. And just in case you didn't know, 
I'm Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, and I approve this message. Thank you. On behalf of CCAD, thank you all for being here tonight, and thank you for your ongoing and considerable support for student success. Let's hear it one more time, ladies and gentlemen. That's so cool. All right. And without further ado, here are the outstanding collections created by our 2024 CCAD Fashion Show designers. Are you ready to see some amazing fashion? Are you ready to see some amazing fashion, people? All right, all right. This is going to be amazing. Here we go. Let's do it. Ember symbolizes resilience and the capacity to emerge from the ashes despite misfortune. Ember is meant to represent my story after going through challenges like we all do, the fire seem restricted. Never having the fortitude to give up, but instead persevering, which implies that we can all grow from the ashes. This collection is an exploration of all types of beadwear and how to construct garments out of beads. My fabric choice was influenced by flames and ashes with the rust and deep blue hues. The beads will be burning red, golden brown, and silver. Using rust and silver hardware highlights the colors on the material while also providing a seamless transition from beading to closures. The contrast between the faded denim and the form of the beads is what makes these piercing yet classic styles work. The silhouettes and fabric selections may convey femininity and boldness, having the ability to conquer all challenges and still emerging to be confident and powerful. Too Raw by Jeremiah Graham. My inspiration for fashion comes from the confidence streetwear gives me. 
The goal in the clothes I create is to replicate the same feeling within my audience. My collection is focused on genuine rawness and aggressive confidence, highlighting authenticity and creativity through small details. Inspired by hip hop and New York streetwear fashion, this collection contains simple silhouettes utilizing rhinestone logos and see-through material. Using denim, polyester knit, caviar, cotton, vinyl, and linen in monochrome colorways with an emphasis on outerwear similar to things popularized in hip hop and black culture. Fearless, flat Flashy, self-confident, stylish, and unapologetically standing out, this is Turo. A fashion killer, she be busy popping tags. She got a lot of Prada, that Dolce and Cabana. I can't forget a Scotta and that Balenciaga. I'm sipping purple syrup, come be my aunt your mama. And if you is a rider, we go shopping like manana. Her attitude, Rihanna, she get it from her mama. She jicky like Madonna, but she trippy like Nirvana. Cause everything designer. Her jeans is Helmet Lang, shoes is Alexander Wang. And her shirt, the newest guy. Donna, Karen, wearing all the Cartier frames, Jean Paul Gaultier's, cause they match with her persona. Her pistol go, her pistol go, I said her pistol go, cause she a fashion killer, and I'm a trendy nigga, I said her pistol go, her pistol go, I said her pistol go. And I'm a jiggy nigga I said I see a jail Sanders I love a people's costume National year and a mule and meester See this them be the sneaker Mom bon a ball mon Go y'all by the trunk Her Isabel Moran I love your Linda Farrow I adore your Dior Your Dami, your Doma Beating a carrot from the store I crash down with that top down Ball see how I ride round Mommy in that time Ford Poppy in that time Brown. Rick Owens, Rab Simmons, boy, she got it by the stop. She ballin' till she fall, that means she shopping till she drop. And besides, she got a lot, but she may never wear it. But... This is Journey Through the Air by Ariane Paramore Wallace. Journey Through the Air, five pieces of expression, eight years of art put into a collection. Graffiti writing and lots of colors, denim bases with fine arts covers. This is the journey into my world. High school memories inspired these paintings, streetwear aesthetic with Air's presence. This is a branded looks with black essence. This is big, something to make a mark. Started freshman year, had a rough start. Sadness, happiness, and inspiration. Love, care, and admiration. I took many years to finalize this combination. Fashion and fine arts made a beautiful creation. I took creativity and made it with my education. This is Journey Through the Air. AP Dubs made it. Say she get it from her mama. I'ma say you fuck her right. Body boot is unpolite. Don't be in a humble type. Tell me, is you down? Cause I'm trying to go up tonight. Jose, hope she slept her right. I just wanna live in a fantasy. I think we deserve it right. Top of the memories I've ever made in my life. Permanent ecstasy. The ladies is pimps tonight.
too good Just cause I'm having sin. Sex game goes stupid. Stopping like a toothpick. Man, I tell the truth. Your opinion is irrelevant, but I. My name is Dominic. My four look collection is titled Urchin and focuses primarily on exploring and elevating the perception of denim. Similar to its brutalist and deconstructivist inspiration, Urchin highlights textures, materials, and construction methods to explore unconventionality. With a specific focus on flat felt seams and fraying, these techniques and properties inform the design direction of my collection. Each garment utilizes 100% cotton recycled and dead stock denim, all garment dyed, distressed, or washed by hand. With over 450 panels and seams throughout my four looks, Urchin intricately builds up structure and texture to display the possibilities of this textile.
My collection is inspired by the fear of dystopia and preparing for the war against ourselves. Sometimes as artists and designers, we're our own worst critic. Featuring cargo pockets and utility detailing, I created uniform-inspired pieces with a mainly black and neutral color palette, highlighted by pops of pinks on lining and tags. In a future and present where everything needs to work harder and last longer, I used high-quality dead stock fabric supporting longevity and a vision towards the future of consumerism. This is the gear we wear to combat censorship, conformity, dehumanization, and propaganda, four of the main qualities of a dystopian society. This is Neo Tetra.
mi nombre es Natalie Carvajal y mi colección es inspirada por mis abuelos Crescenciano Martínez y Natalia Galván, que ya no se encuentran con nosotros porque Dios los llamó a su presencia. Quiero honrar a mi cultura y a ellos y así mismo demostrar lo orgullosa que estoy de mis bellas raíces. Mi colección se llama Flores de Duelo. Me tomé la oportunidad de basar mis vestidos en algunas de las cuantas flores que usamos en el funeral de mis abuelos. La rosa siendo la flor que honora a mis abuelos, el lirio que es la flor que usamos para enterrar a mis abuelos y también significa la purificación del alma y la vida eterna. Y el cempasúchil siendo la flor que se usa para honrar a los muertos el día de muertos. Las telas usadas en mis vestidos son la seda, seda de cañamo, tul y malla holográfica. También usé adornos para expresar más de mi cultura como listones, cintas de raso, cuentas de ropa y flores hechas a mano. Mi colección es sentimental y elegante y dimensional. Uno de mis vestidos está teñido de forma degradada para representar el espíritu brillante de mis abuelos. Mis vestidos evocan elegancia y una sensación de felicidad. En fin, esta colección está dedicada a mis abuelos quienes descansen en paz con las flores que fueron enterrados que ahora crecen arriba de sus tumbas. Este es un homenaje para y celebración de mi cultura mexicana. My name is Alyssa Shear and this is Gardenia. Floating through time and memories of my grandma's garden are my alien fairies. Each fairy combines childhood dreams with iconic fashion references from runway history. There are butterfly companions wisping through glitter and soft tulle, creating a dreamy mix of textures. Customize shoes and accessories to complete the otherworldly feeling Gardenia shines. Thank you. 
This is Charlotte. The name for my collection is 37.2 Degrees, which is the title of a novel about passionless love. My inspiration comes from those intimate relationships I have witnessed over time and try to interpret the different form of love. My looks are both splendid and impactful. I use those fabric and exhibit diverse luster when viewed from different angles as my core element. Complemented by the rigid gemstone benchings and metallic twill as embellishments to annex more closely with my interpretations of the paradoxical essence of love. I hope this series can invoke emotions in people and invite them to discuss the assessment of intimate relationships. <music>
Transparent Affection is a collection portraying my love for mixed media with handcrafted garments and technical glass blowing. The all-white clothing evokes an ethereal feeling while remaining classic and romantic. I am marketing to people who are obsessed with self-expression and unique combinations of art within fashion. My goal is to push my viewer to think of fashion not solely as functional, but as an object of art. Overall, Transparent Affection is meant to have the viewer understand the view and feeling for glass in an interactive way.
My name is Shalwis, and my collection, The Dark Side of the Moon, is a concept collection that depicts how the moon's mysterious and unknown side would look in a garment through my expressionism. The core of my collection is a deconstruction of the form and its reconstruction expressed through geometric shapes and inspired by Japanese origami and the idea of soft sculpture. I want to show my vision through innovative pattern making and classic tailoring and couture technique. With the core fabrics being natural wool and silk fabrics, I explore and interpret my silhouette, breaking them down to new shapes and evolve through each look. With my eyes looking through the past, I walk backward into the future. My name is Sarah Allen, and this is my collection, Lustful Borealis. I was inspired by the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights. Looking at the Aurora Borealis transports me to a state that is serene, sublime, and euphoric. Its backdrops are the mountains, the deep dark sky, and glistening stars, all elements that I want to communicate in my collection. My feminine collection is structured, edgy, color-blocked, and sexy. 
To communicate the idea of an aurora borealis, I created a digital print and utilized fiber optic fabric. To push my silhouettes, each of my designs has unique paneling, geometric shapes, and complex starts. Enjoy the combination of bright and dark colors and watch me challenge the idea that black and navy should not coexist in a look. The dark sky welcomes you to the lustful borealis. Hello, my name is Logan Baldoff, and my thesis collection is titled Kangaroo. In this set of five looks, I set out to design a narrative-based collection telling the story of a muse enveloping in fabric and color. The development for this collection began over the summer of 2023, with copious amounts of fashion research and reference collecting. In large part, the artistic direction came in the form of the Gurdiva paintings by Salvador Dali, as well as the photography works and graphic design of Vaughn Oliver and Nigel Grierson. Alongside these points of reference, I made it an objective to educate myself on the usage of organic dyes to achieve a specific palette that best resonated with my story, as well as other forms of embellishment as beading and jewelry, to give highlights where they were due on the garments to further enhance them and flatter the models who so beautifully wear them. In the end, I've created a small body of work showcasing a story that intersects the fields of art and fashion.
the desire for total mobility and the serious physical pursuit of religious freedom, the auto drove mankind further than the wheel and in remote areas even today is forbidden as a device too suspect for human conveyance. This articulate conception has only brought us all more of the same. Thoughtlessly locked into phase two gridlock, heat up on its rims.
celebrating back there too. Yeah, give it up for yourselves, y'all. Yes. That was amazing. Come on. Woo! <laughs> I have to give it up to the students who just launched their careers in the fashion industry with the work you've seen this evening. They put off incredible energy into the world, and I believe it's going to pay off. What a night. <laughs> So we're not done just yet, everybody. We have a special award to give out to one of tonight's designers. And I'd like to invite Professor Suzanne Cotton, Chair of CCAD's Fashion Design Program, to the runway. Ooh, how you doing? Good. You're beautiful. Yes. All right. I'm excited to be here tonight to present the Easton Fashion Award. Each year, the Easton Fashion Award is presented to an outstanding senior for academic achievement and exceptional skills, talent, and perseverance. And tonight, we actually have two awards to give out. First, I'd like to recognize the outstanding senior from 2020, the year that the fashion show was unfortunately canceled. Because we remember why, right? You know, I don't know, anyways. What is time? The 2020 recipient was Shwena Poo. Let's give it up for Shwena. And Shwena, please join us on the runway. Congratulations, Shwena. And we are glad to be able to honor and recognize you, even if it is four years later. So we're proud to have you as a fashion alum. Give it up for Shwena Poo, everyone. And I'm very excited to recognize this year's recipients of the Easton Fashion Award. <laughs> Give it up one more time. All right, all right. Here we are. And you ran in those. Good for you. That's, listen, that's skill. That's skill. The award tonight is being given out to Easton Fashion Award for David Vega Jr. David, please join us on the runway. Congratulations, David. Your everything was amazing, and congratulations. You are so deserving of this award, and you're gonna kill it out here in the world. So enjoy yourself, and congratulations. Yes, you're welcome. All right, let's give it up one more time, y'all, for Professor Suzanne Cotton and our award winners tonight. Congratulations again, David. And on behalf of CCAD, thanks to Kiara Chapman and the Columbus Fashion Council for their continuing scholarship support for CCAD students. The CFC will announce the CCAD recipient of the 2024 Fashion Week Scholarship at Fashion Week Columbus in September. Congratulations to all of tonight's designers. You should be incredibly proud of what you've accomplished. Everyone, please give Suzanne Cotton 
our fashion designers, CCAD's fashion design faculty, and all of the staff and volunteers who made tonight's night possible. One more round of applause. <laughs> and congratulations to you all. And to all of our attendees, all of the attendees, a final thank you. Thank you for supporting emerging, emerging fashion designers and all of CCAD's students. And I'll make this ask one more time. Please join me in supporting CCAD's comprehensive campaign by scanning your program or one of the many posters with QR codes around this space and give today. Okay, we'll see you next May for 2025 CCAD show. And I hope to see you all tomorrow 